This is Burn Bright Stories. Hey, welcome to the very first Burn Bright Story. So Chinese tech giant Xiaomi is in the news after releasing an inexpensive drone packed with premium components, undercutting established rivals including DJI. While this company is huge in Asia, consumers in the West are only just starting to get acquainted with Xiaomi offerings. So let's take a look at the backstory of Xiaomi. Xiaomi initially started as a software company founded in April 2010 by ex King Soft CEO Lake Jun, creating a new custom ROM based on Google's Android. MIUI, the ROM which the team created, ramped the technology and achieved a huge success which was ported to many devices. As of 2014 MIUI can be downloaded and installed over 200 devices in both English and Chinese, even non-developers can easily install MIUI to their phones using the MIUI Express APK. As of the end of 2013 Xiaomi had over 30 million MIUI users worldwide, very impressive for such a young company. The founder and CEO, Lei Jun, who believes that high-quality technology doesn't need to cost a fortune. Although Jun Lei hates the comparison, but Xiaomi is also called the Apple of China. In 2012, Xiaomi shipped a total of 7.2 million smartphones, and in 2013 the number rose to 18.7 million. Also, in the first quarter of 2014, Xiaomi had shipped over 11 million smartphones, which was more than they sold in the entire year 2012. Demand continued to increase because of its low price and high specification hardware embedded. Xiaomi had continued its expansion out of China with the high-profile hiring of Hugo Berra, ex-Google Android executive, whose job was to discover new markets for expansion. Sales had been started in the overseas countries like Malaysia, Philippines, India, Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, Russia, Turkey, Brazil, and Mexico. In 2015 Xiaomi sold 70 million smartphones, not only this Xiaomi Vice President Hugo Berra launched some of Mi products in Europe and USA. Today is a historical day for Xiaomi. It's our first media event in Europe, and it's the first time we're announcing a flagship product at a global stage. We're really, really excited. Very young company, as I said. Uh, we're not even six years old. Last year, we sold over 70 million uh, smartphones around the world. And that's, by the way, actual sellout. These are not products sold into the channel, but actually products sold to consumers, mostly because we sell directly to consumers. According to IDC, Xiaomi was the number one smartphone brand in China in 2015. And that was the second consecutive year. Uh, as all of you know, the Chinese smartphone ecosystem is incredibly competitive. So being number one is really a big milestone for us that we are very proud of. We're currently number five in the world with just under 5% of global smartphone share. So, Xiaomi is not limited to phones only. Xiaomi creates remarkable hardware, software, and internet services for and with the help of MI fans. Xiaomi incorporates customers' feedback into their product range, which currently includes the MI series smartphone, tablet PC called MI Pad, MI UI ROM, MI Wi Fi, network router, MI Smart TV. A set-top box called MI Box, $13 fitness monitor and sleep tracker MI Band, Android-based messaging service MI Talk and MI Video Call. But this is not the end of the list Xiaomi also have amazing smart home products in partnership with other companies, their Xiaomi smart home product range currently includes the blood pressure monitor, hair purifier, Yi smart web cam, Yi action camera, smart scale, water purifier, smart home kit, smart rice cooker, a self-balancing Segway called 9Bot Mini. So let's have a look to some of the fun fact about Xiaomi, the name. 
Xiaomi means little rice in Chinese. Xiao means little, and Mi is rice. Also, as with many other Chinese words, the name isn't generally correctly pronounced. Well that's a pretty nice song by me super fan Naomi. So, let's talk about the mascot. Xiaomi's mascot is a bunny called Midu who wears a Vishanka, Lei Fang hat. The Mi bunny's cap has a red star, and it also wears a red scarf around its neck. On the other side the Mi in logo stands for mobile internet. It also has other meanings, including Mission Impossible, because Xiaomi faced many challenges that it seemed impossible to defy in their early days. But, last year Xiaomi celebrated its fifth birthday on 6 April 2015 with the Mi Fan Festival, which includes an online shopping day with offers and discounts. Xiaomi managed to break the world record for most mobile phones sold on a single online platform in 24 hours by selling 2,112,010 handsets through its direct-to-customer website me.com. So the question is how valuable is Xiaomi? Well, funding of $1.1 billion in December 2014 made Xiaomi most valuable startup across the world leaving Uber on number two. On the other side Xiaomi is ranked 2 on the list of 50 smartest companies 2015 by MIT Technology Review, which noted in the publication that the fast-growing smartphone vendor is maturing beyond its original cut-price Apple model with ideas like flash sales over its mobile messaging platform. Not only this, but Xiaomi was ranked 3 in the list of most Innovative Companies 2014 by Fast Company for reinventing the smartphone business model in the world's largest mobile market. According to International Data Corporation, in October 2014 Xiaomi was the third largest smartphone maker in the world, following Samsung and Apple, and followed by Lenovo and LG. On May 25, 2016 Xiaomi launches its own take on one of the hottest categories in consumer tech. Drones. Xiaomi's Mi drone is a quadcopter with a 3-axis gimbals, 4K camera, and a remote control that uses your smartphone as its viewfinder. The 4K version retails at just under $460, while the 1080p model is priced at $380. Typically, 4K camera drones from DJI, and unique retail for more than $1,000. Strategy writer Ben Thompson notes in his article Xiaomi's ambition that Xiaomi's target consumer base is the young population of China, especially college students and young adults who just entered the workforce. As they get places of their own, they will need TVs, air purifiers, etc., things that Xiaomi sells along with the smartphones. He then notes. This, then, is the key to understanding Xiaomi. They're not so much selling smartphones as they are selling a lifestyle, and the key to that lifestyle is MIUI, Xiaomi's software layer that ties all of these things together. In fact, you could argue that Xiaomi is actually the first Internet of Things company. Unlike Google, Nest, Apple, HomeKit, or even Samsung, SmartThings, all of whom are offering some sort of open SDK to tie everything together, a necessity given that most of their customers already have appliances that won't be replaced anytime soon. Xiaomi is integrating everything itself and selling everything one needs on me.com to a fan base prime to outfit their homes for the very first time. It's absolutely a vertical strategy, the company is like Apple after all, it's just that the product offering is far broader than anything even Gene Monster could imagine.
the services late June talks about, MIUI and Me.com especially, sell the products and tie them all together, but they are all Xiaomi products in the end. To finish off, here's one last quote from Xiaomi, always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. And that is the story of Xiaomi. Thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy the video please give this video thumbs up and share it with someone who would be interested to know the story of Xiaomi and definitely subscribe to the channel. Ok so that's all from me thanks for watching video you've been watching burn bright stories and I'll see you soon for the next video.